Hey Fire Signs and welcome to my channel. This is for Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo for the 11th of August, 2018, your daily love outlook. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I want to um, just put out there to everybody, if you ordered a reading for me and you don't want to wait, um, go ahead and request a refund on PayPal. I would be more than happy to give that to you. Um, with me moving and dealing with the energies myself, I'm exhausted as well. So uh, I am finally moved in. Um, I'm in my new space, so I will be working twice as hard in the next week or two to get caught up. If you're tired of waiting, go ahead and request a refund if you're willing to wait. Thank you for your patience, and there will be an extra bonus in your reading for you. So just to say thank you for the wait. So here we go. I am going to tip you guys on down here and get, go ahead and get started. Spirit and angels, what messages do you have for our fire signs for the 11th of August, 2018 in love? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, please, in that order. Okay, your guys' overall energy is the Ace of Wands in the reverse. It's being clarified by the Hanged Man in reverse. Um, yeah, under that you have the King of Pentacles waiting on a worse, uh, Earth sign that isn't coming forward. You have the Ten of Wands. You're about ready to let this um, bygones be bygones and move on by... And underneath that is a star, the most beautiful card ever. Your wish is coming true. But that would be in a couple of days here. What we're dealing with right now is the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Hanged Man. Lack of um, passion. Aries. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Nice. Leo. The Two of Pentacles. And Sagittarius. Judgment. Oh my goodness. Earth signs just got judgment as their overall um, energy. If you're dealing with a uh, earth sign, most definitely keep keep an eye on um, on the earth sign reading today as well. Um, so yeah, uh, Aries, you guys are um, getting some information that's going to clear up a lot of confusion that you've had. Uh, you have taken the time to. Uh, take a step back and really reevaluate what you're wanting out of a relationship, out of love, out of life. Um, and you're just, you're, you're losing the passion you once had for this person because you're tired of waiting for one, but you are becoming clear on something. Um, there's some truth coming towards you. Um, I'm not going to lie. It may hurt, but um, it's worth it. And it needs to be, you need to hear it. So, and that's going to cause um, you to have a lack of of passion. So uh, let me get a clarifier on that. Spirit and Angels, why is the Ace of Swords here for Aries? You have healed. Well, oh, you have healed in this time away, though, uh, Aries. In this hanging man, you have healed from the hurt of this these lies. Um, yeah, this could have something to do with a child, um, somebody that you have a child with, with the Empress, um, and then the Page being in the reverse. Um, you could be hearing some truth about uh, about a child of yours or or not being able to see a child. But, yeah, there's um, you're going to get a new idea, though. There's a birth of something new here um, once you get the truth about the situation. So keep your head up, Aries. You're going to get some answers today that you needed. Like I said, it might hurt, but it's something you needed to hear. And now you're going to be able to move forward and create something new. Um, or or a, uh, solving the solution to a problem involving a child. Leo, you guys have the two of pentacles, so you guys are juggling, trying to figure life out between love of self and love of another. Um, you're just, you're really, uh, you're so stressed out. You're so um, full of anxiety over trying to balance out your life. Um, you're losing sleep at night. You are scared, depressed, anxious, um, fearful of the future without this person. Um, but you're just not quite sure how to let them go or how to balance your life back out. Um, 
Yeah. You're just lacking the drive to get out of bed every day. You're lacking the drive, the passion to, to really balance and heal yourself. Um, you are coming out of this time of seclusion. Um, and I think that is going to help you with your depression um, or your anxiety. Yeah, you're going to make a choice or somebody's going to make a choice. And there's no longer going to be this need for, for juggling. Sagittarius, you guys have the judgment card while I was shuffling. Just a minute ago, you had the page of cups come out. Somebody's coming forward to make you a love offer. Um, Virgo got this in their reading. Um along with a whole bunch of other cards, but watch the Virgo if you are included or if you are, um, yeah, if you're involved with a Virgo, for sure, you guys are coming back together. There's reconciliation here because balance, balance and self-healing have happened. Um, whoa. Uh, the Queen of Wands. Yeah, that's you, Sagittarius. With the Seven of Pentacles, you are just now waiting for your... Uh, your ships to come in. You have to let something go though, before this person will come back um, into union. You are doing that though. You are ending a cycle today in this eclipse energy. So the universe can allow this person to come back into your life and make a love offer. And you are going to be sitting, my friend, on your throne, just on fire, hot, sexy, full of confidence. People are drawn to you. Um, you have more than one option, but you're holding out for this one person. Um, yeah. Wow. Yeah. So once you let that go, wow, look at all these aces, you guys, all of you, and then the two of swords on the bottom. Awesome. All three of you zodiacs are, um, coming to completion points, uh, with this eclipse energy and starting new, starting fresh, uh, starting over. Oh, Aries, you got deception. Somebody in your space is wearing a false mask. Yeah, I, I was picking that up on that. But you are going to get the truth about this deception. And uh, and it's going to allow you to push forward. It's going to hurt. I kept saying that. Um, you're going to be, you're not going to be shocked, though. That's, whoa, that's the weird part is um, you almost seen this coming. Leo's calling in your soulmate. Awesome. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you two together. You are... Um, you are manifesting as we speak. So make sure you find balance. Make sure you find healing and continue to call in that soulmate. Sagis. Make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So make sure that person out there knows how you feel. Make sure uh, they know how much you love, appreciate them. And also just take the steps you're guided to take, um, to show that you are interested. The bottom of your guys' deck is soulmate. You guys are all dealing with soulmates, um, coming in for you with this eclipse energy. It's going to be beautiful. So hold on for the wild ride. It's about to get, um, pretty crazy. So join me live later today. Um, talk about these eclipse energies and, um, I'll be answering questions as well. So, uh, I want to thank you all for joining me, Fire Signs. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.